follow my lead. Uh, so I just want to check in with you quickly here. Um, so I'm out at a session with Willie. I don't know if you can see him back right there. I'm out at a session with Willie, and uh, Willie's going home in a couple of days. So we're in, and actually, Willie's going home tomorrow. Yeah, Willie's going home tomorrow. So we're at the dog park. Uh, we're going to be doing some training uh, at the dog park. So I wanted to come give you guys a shot on what I use the dog park for. Uh, do I go to dog parks? Sure, absolutely I do. Uh, there's certain things that I do when I go into a dog park though. One of the first things I do is um, the dog that I'm with is walk on leash around the dog park. Uh, so there's, there's, there's structure. I want to make sure that the dog is, is checking in with me. Uh, make sure that the dog's on board with with the right behavior uh, before we, we even step into the dog park. Um, I'll then check out and, and, you know, and see what the dog park looks like. Is it crazy in there? Is it mayhem? If it's too crazy, we'll usually just use it as a, a training session outside the fence of the dog park. And you can do this too. Um, and if it's a small group, I'm going into the dog park and um, I'm letting the dogs socialize at that time if it's a small group the group seems um, well mannered the owners seem like they're on point on target they will go in i'm not just going in and throwing my dog in a, in a group full of dogs and owners that, that aren't paying attention um, the other thing that i make sure that i do when i'm in the dog park is i'm always walking in the dog park i'm always walking so you see i'm circling the dog park i'm circling i'm circling um, and what that does is it keeps your dog alert for you and it keeps your dog in motion. When dogs start to jumble up together because the owners are standing still, um, that can cause a, a big pack of dogs to, to come together. Anything can happen when you're in those tight, close quarters. So we stay moving in a circle of motion around the dog park. Um, so that's, that's, a, that's a tip for you if you are going to the dog park don't huddle up with dog owners stay moving stay moving in the dog park let your dog follow you around let your dog be checking in you should be checking in with your dog calling your dog out of um, groups of dogs or out of situations that are getting too ramped up um, and then sending them back off to to go socialize again and that's pretty much it that's pretty much what I use the dog park for Right now, I got Willie here. Now we got two dogs. So it's a pretty steady day here at the dog park. Saturdays can be a little crazy. Uh, so we're going to go in here and uh, we'll check in with you guys soon. Hey guys, Ray will follow my lead. So I'm here uh, with Willie. We are at the dog park. And remember what I talked about. Um, we're getting the dog out and walking the area or the entire park uh, depending on how large your dog park is this one's pretty small uh, but it has a path that goes up and around so um, what we're doing now is going through giving Willie a structured walk Oh, excuse me, got something in my eye. Uh, gonna give Willie a structured walk. We're going through a nice heel. We're making sure his auto sit is tight. And you can hear the dogs playing. You can hear the dogs barking, um, all that good stuff. But one of the biggest factors is the dog's nose. At this point, Willie's not allowed to sniff around, right? Not allowed to sniff around. There's been dogs marking all over the place. I smell tons of dogs, all that stuff. There's animal life over here. Uh, Willie cannot smell uh, the ground and start sniffing. That would get him totally distracted on what we're here for um, and take his mind into a, a different level. So you can see this is Willie walking now, keeping him focused. And we're going to walk through some paths here. So if I lose, I may have to just jump off hill. Um, but the idea is for Willie to stay focused on me, right? Uh, the human, 
because that's what we're going to need him to do when he's around other dogs. Remember, Willie's had other dogs in his mouth, right? So Willie's bitten other dogs. Willie, come. Good boy. Nice. Nope. Down. Good. So we're here uh, before the mag ma magic begins here. Um, and there's some dogs playing in the park here. We're working on uh, Willie's off-leash stuff. See, he, he's got a little pep in his step, which is cool. Um, but we have to keep him right in the middle uh, so he doesn't get overly excited. Uh, so we'll keep working him. Stay tuned. Willie, come. Good boy. Nice job, buddy. Good. Good job. Down. Nope. Down. Good. Keep Willie in the down for a little bit. Let him watch the dogs play. Um, he was in a... So here you'll see Willie um, in the down stay position. Um, and we're working him off leash. There's a few dogs playing in the, in the, in the dog park there. And really this is just about... Willie uh, being able to see other dogs and be in a place um, where he's not roaming around, doesn't have free roam, and can just watch it and it goes by. So we're just moving him around the dog park here. Willie, come. Good boy. Nice. Good job. Good. Down. Good. Willie, come. Good. Nope. Got a door to explore, huh? Yeah. Ah, you're exploring everything. Nope. Willie, nope. Good boy. Oh, Zora. Oh, I said Dora. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Willie, nope. Have a good one now. Is that a camera or a training tool? Oh, this is a camera. Alright. Yeah, yeah. So that's a big deal uh, for Willie having the, the little pup run up on him. Um, the other dog coming up to, a, to, to the fence and, you know, him just remaining... Um, calm and you know the biggest thing he wants to do is sniff and that's exactly what we want from him I didn't want a lot of moving uh, f from him so he falls off that uh, the bench there so I was just um, correcting him from from moving with just a verbal verbal cue there So here we're just transitioning. Um, we was watching some small dogs for a while, which was which was um, key. Just playing, they had a great time uh, playing in, in the dog park, and just having Willie watch that is, is huge, and, and not feel like he has to go and um, attack those small uh, dogs while they're playing um, w was great. So we we worked him uh, through that for a little bit longer. Did some other activities. Now we're actually uh, heading out of the park, and you see Willie um, in a heel off leash here, trying to uh, get the best view for you guys. 
Um, but this is Willie in a heel, and you can see he, him checking in. What he's doing is he's looking at my leg uh, to make sure that he's in the right spot. Um, and then I'm going to try to catch him off guard on, a, on an auto sit, see how he does. Goes a little bit further than, than, than I would like, but um, he's got the idea, and that's very important. So um, we are heading out of the dog park. Thank you guys for joining always.